And sometimes they're funny, and sometimes they're other things. Uh, tonight I have uh, just two I'm going to read, because... I am. That's the first one I'm going to read. Uh, this one is called A Poem to Never Show My Mother. It's fairly self-explanatory. <laughs> Between 2007 and 2010, I managed to forget my mother's birthday every single year. And every single year, it was because I was having some kind of mind-blowing sexual encounter with a girlfriend who could have rewritten the Kama Sutra. I am a horrible son. My grandmothers in heaven look down in shame as angels and saints weep, I am sure. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. I love how much people love that one. I've been getting great re I, I read it to some kids outside earlier, and they, they got a kick out of it. I'm, I'm 30, like, I'm allowed to start calling people who are younger than me kids. That's, that's the big benefit of 30. Um, also, you're no longer in your 20s, and man, by the time they're done, you're ready to be done with them. This next poem is called Shitty Poem. It is about shitty poems. A shitty poem would begin with rhymed nonsense about mirrors, or someone's eyes, or an incredibly boring stanza in iambic pentameter about an old man driving his jobby down the road. But it would be boring nonsense nonetheless. A shitty poem would wink at you, the reader, constantly, because it thinks it is just so very clever, and it wants, nay, it needs, for you to be excited about how clever it is. There's a poem that will be a joke coming here, the shitty poem says to you. Will you be cool enough to get the joke, asks the shitty poem. It's totes funny if you wrote a thesis on Shakespeare, giggles the shitty poem, batting its cartoon eyelashes like slutty katana blades, whooshing in slow motion through the air. A shitty poem wears neon pink eyeshadow. A shitty poem would go down on you, then tell everyone how weird your crotch smells, even though they don't want to know that. <laughs> a shitty poem is about God or eternity, and mostly the fear of death. And that's always just a little pitiful and boring. A shitty poem uses thousands of words to say nothing. A shitty poem has one word repeated far too often. A shitty poem would be precious and spiteful and boring and mean to people for not enjoying it. A shitty poem would be read aloud in an affected sing-song by any breed of boring amateur. A shitty poem is written by Sylvia Plath. Bite me, she sucks. <laughs> a shitty poem is written by everyone who writes a shitty poem. A shitty poem is the risk of poetry. My shitty poems are about masturbation. I think I'm so cool. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Um, before I leave you here tonight, I would just like to say that as you wander down this road of life, give a listen to the, the first LP by a band called Detroitson. They're like, I, I just heard that, I just got into them like this week after hearing their name for years. Um, hardcore punk band from Wisconsin. And apparently Wisconsin winters and having nothing to do breeds some really impressive music. Um, they got this one song called All White that is just like, Oh my God, it makes me want to run around and break windows in like the best way possible. So give them a listen, enjoy chocolate chip cookies, and be nice to your parents, give them a call, they're worried about you. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>